All right, fellas, uh, there it is all wired up on the inside. So my 5-volt logic inputs to my uh, IGBT, uh, you know, Bosch BIP373 transistors, uh, coil drivers. Uh, they got their 5-volt logic that will be coming from the uh, Megasquirt 3 expansion card. And I got the other wires that go out to the coil and go out to ground down the cylinder head, uh, run out through the firewall. So we'll go around here and and uh, show you where we got them coming through. You got a nice, uh, I think it's inch and an eighth hole down there. And uh, got a grommet protecting the wires coming through. So, right there's the wires. And I will be connecting them to these guys. These run to the coils. And then the other wires will run to a ground at the back of the cylinder head here. So, we are uh, going to start wiring them in. So, I'll get you set on the tripod and we'll uh, get it going. Alright, so uh, it's green with the yellow trace, it's coil number one, so we'll go ahead and get that trimmed up. Okay. I'll come down here and I got them marked. This is uh, coil number one, looms. That's the red wire, how oh, I got it wired, so go ahead and trim this one back. Okay, I'll grab uh Grab us a heat shrink too. Oh, I got one cut already. We'll go ahead and throw it on there. What you doing? Huh? Nothing. After done doing your stuff, mm -hmm. can you help get some silver? Yeah, give me a second, I'll get you some. Alright, and we'll go ahead and put these together and solder them up. Yeah, give me a second, babe, and I'll be right there. In there, I'll get you something to eat. Hey, did you leave a comment on my video? Maybe. <laughs> I saw it last night. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and solder this in. Okay, I left my uh, torch in the car. Ouch. Oh, it is hot. Ah. 
Go ahead and slide her heat shrink over. go ahead and uh, finish connecting these and then I'll come back and we'll do the ground. Number two is red with the yellow trace. All right, fellas. Uh, I got the this right here. The shield, the wire is going to the crank sensor. Got that wired into the Mega Four harness. Now I'm just gonna take some conduit and uh, wrap it up, keep it clean, and uh, we'll keep on going. Piece 
electrical tape on that conduit right here to keep this um, keep that from sliding back into the harness more than I want it to just temporarily till I get it taken back off and I'll finish finish uh, wrapping everything and getting it looking all nice Come on. There we go. Go ahead and disconnect it from the crank sensor. I had to send this up pipe over here um, back to the maker, the guy who made it, for me to uh, adjust the turbo flange because the turbo was sitting too close to the front cover here. Didn't didn't even have a pinky's worth of of uh, clearance there, so he's gonna reweld the flange a little more forward so the turbo will come forward a little bit, so I have a little more clearance here. I had a whole bunch of room up here between the fan and this, so. He's gonna move forward for me and then we'll get it bolted back on so hopefully it won't take long to get back. I'm gonna mail it out Monday. But in the meantime I got a bunch of wiring that I gotta do. I'll show you here in a second, but I got all the injectors and all the <coughs> ignition coils uh, ran harness made, uh, throttle position sensor, connector, all wired in. I'm doing the crank sensor now, and I'm going to do the cam sensor next. And, uh, moving right along. Yeah, I'll we'll see right about there. Let me get my razor blade that I believe I left over here. And, uh, I'll go ahead and cut it right about here. Sorry if you can't see this, but I'm trying to get it cut. Okay, so I got a cut here. Let me flip the screen so I can just see what I'm showing you guys. Okay, so got it trimmed back, so I'll put the wire in there and then I'll tape up the end to keep it from coming off or coming out. Down a little ways to give it, make sure it doesn't come apart. Okay, that way it won't come out. And then I will add it in here. And get it routed first. Okay. I know what I gotta wait till I get this other wire ran through here. So I'm gonna leave that like that right there until I get, I gotta get this wire put back in this connector once I get the throttle about it back off and finish up the harness there. So and I'll plug this in. Make sure it's all good. I'll keep it keep it away from the manifold and out of the belt and AC compressor. 
Okay, <clears throat> that's all finished up. So I'm gonna move over here and do this cam sensor. I'll go ahead and move you up here a little bit. Do this cam sensor here and uh, get that wired in. I'm gonna look at my wiring diagram. If you look here at the bottom, let me get you focused. Okay, that there is cam sensor. I gotta get that green wire connected to my thing and it goes up and then the other one goes to ground on the connector itself. So I'm gonna get that wired up and uh, get that knocked out of the way. So I need uh, wire number 32 green in the MSX, MS3X harness. So it would be this one over here. There's a bunch of damn green wires, so I gotta look. Okay. First one I grabbed, what do you know? So it's this one. Okay. So, let me see how I'm gonna run this. Give me a second, let me figure out how I'm gonna run this. All right, right here, uh, this is going to be a quick sh uh, shot of what we got as far as the fuel injector harness and the coil harness. You can't see the coil harness, obviously, because it's underneath this terminator plate for the coils. But like I said, it runs out the back of the harness or the cover. I still need to loom this part when I get the last wire in there. And then uh, that's the harness for the fuel injectors. Runs to the back side of the engine, on the back side, and then over here. I can get you a shot. Same deal. Got the coil harness running out the back. And that's where it ties into the mega squirt harness. And then uh, same with the fuel injectors. Running underneath all clean. Wrapped in uh, conduit there. Uh, there's our uh, throttle position sensor. Got a temporary mounted. Still need to do the IAC valve sensor here. And then I got the crank sensor wiring running down alongside and down to the crank sensor. And uh, so, yeah, that's what I got set up so far. And uh, I think I showed you guys, but I got the uh, tab you can't see. I don't think I got a light in here either. But my, my, my uh, inductor driver box that I built, I mounted down there to the floor underneath the carpet. And. Uh, so yeah, a little further, a little small step back, had to send that, like I said, send that up pipe back, but uh, hopefully we'll have it back soon. Got the drains all finished, so as soon as that comes back, I can put the turbo back on, hook up the drain, finish the feed line, and uh, we'll have our turbo, or excuse me, our computer by then. We'll be able to plug that in, hopefully, and have everything work, and then... Uh, then at that point we'll be close to firing this thing up, getting her broke in, and uh, having some run down the street. So, but that's an update. That's where we're at, and uh, hopefully in the next couple of days I'll have another video out with some more progress. So, keep an eye out for that, guys. I appreciate all the support, the likes, the subscribes, uh, comments, anything, man. I like it all. Criticism, you can shoot shoot it in the comments. I'll take it all. Don't matter to me. So, give me a shout.